Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix a clogged windshield washer spray nozzle. This will be a super easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. The first step is locating your spray nozzle. Now in some cars, it's gonna be on the actual hood of the vehicle. On this car right here, it's over here, which is actually on the front portion of the lower portion of the front windshield. So it's right over there, and when you've located it, you're gonna look at how many sprayers it has. Now your, your uh, actual windshield washer nozzle is either gonna have one sprayer within it, so one little hole, or two little holes. In this case right here, this actually has one little hole. And I'm gonna try and zoom in. I know the, the camera isn't the best right now, just because of the lighting, there we go, that's a little bit better. So now that you see that there's that one little hole over there, what you wanna do is get just a little, uh, you can see where I have, a, I have a paper clip, and I choose to use a paper clip as opposed to like a sewing needle or anything, because this isn't uh, nearly as sharp as a sewing needle. And what you wanna do is take your um, paper clip, and you want to just press it lightly into that hole right there that is actually guiding the uh, that is actually guiding the windshield washer fluid. I'm just going to open it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to take it and I'm just inserting it in the hole and just sort of moving it around just a little bit as you can see right there. So I'm just moving it around and if there's a clog this is likely going to solve that problem. Okay. You can see right here, I'm not going that far in, just a little bit, I'm just moving it around. You don't want to go super far because there is a hose that is attached to the end of that. And if you pierce through the hose, then you're going to have a leak in it. So you just want to just basically go very gently um, in there. And that's also why I choose to use a paper clip instead of a sewing needle or a safety pin or anything like that. Because this has less of a chance of puncturing that hose of your windshield washer fluid uh, nozzle over there. Just because... Um, it's not nearly as sharp. You don't want to use anything that's super sharp. So just get it right in that little hole, give it a little wiggle back and forth, and pull it out, and then try to see if they work. Now most likely, uh, probably uh, a good vast majority of the time, that's gonna solve the problem because it could just be a little piece of debris that made its way through the line and it's clogged up um, the nozzle. And when you do that, you know, you're just gonna break it apart and hopefully it just starts working. However, uh, in the uh, odd chance, or I should say the slim chance that it doesn't work, you're gonna have to take a second step, which I'm gonna just open this up. Give me just a quick moment. Let me open up the hood over here. Um, there we go. I'm just going to prop it up. Okay, so now the next step, if that doesn't work, would be to actually um, remove the actual windshield washer nozzle. So in this case, we have the nozzle right over there. That's what it looks like. And you're, it, like I said, if it's under the hood, you can just pop the hood and it's going to be like underneath the hood. But in this case, it's over there. So what I would have to do, what I would have to actually remove all of this, uh, all of this plastic over here and all of this sort of like this fascia over here, which would give me access to the actual hoses behind there, the windshield washer fluid hoses that connect to the nozzles. Okay, there's the other nozzle over there. Um, and uh, at that point, I could remove the nozzle. I would remove the nozzle and then I can clean the nozzle directly. So I can take the nozzle that I've now that I've taken it off and I can, you know, soak it in warm water for a couple of hours and hopefully that frees up the clog as well. So if the first method doesn't work with using the little paper clip to sort of hopefully free up whatever it is that's clogging it, um, then you can actually use the second method, which would be to um, actually remove the windshield washer sprayer nozzle and uh, and then actually clean it individually independently I mean you can get like a cleaning toothbrush and you can sort of scrub it with a cleaning brush or a cleaning cloth of some sort um, but yeah that would be the next step um, and then there's even a further step which would involve um, you know potentially changing the lines if the lines are deteriorated or clogged but most of the time these first two steps which would be using the paper clip and then removing the nozzle uh, and cleaning the nozzle individually will solve the problem so i'm just going to leave it at that if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching